Well, I'm out here. Yesterday we had a road trip. Uh, pretty close to 400 miles. It wasn't exactly. About 345. Anyway, we picked up a whole bunch of filing cabinets. We go turn them into raised beds in the garden. We come home. We poked at that project a little bit. But both of us just really seriously just wore out. And, uh, I got tons of things around here I need to do. Par projects that, you know, I've started and I want to get done. And anyway, I'm tired. So I'm at that point where I can pick and choose projects because I guarantee you there's something to do around here. I just got to do it. So that's what I'm working on today. Um, one of the projects we want to do is we want to move a, uh, ladder file with a built in hutch into the bedroom for storage. Most people have dressers. We got lateral files because they're mouse proof, fairly dust resistant. I mean, they're going to get some dust. And this hutch here has, well, it's cool. And I'll show it in a minute just to include it. But anyway, to do that, we need storage, just tons and tons of storage. We're always needing storage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a box that I'm sitting on rollers that I can roll under the bed. And then the stuff that like bed clothes, bed, you know, blankets and sheets and stuff like that, I could put in that box, roll it under the bed and it's out of the way and it's out of the dust and, you know, stuff like that. We're, we're on a dirt road. So, I mean, we always got dust. We're always going to have dust. We could be, we could be in the house for eight hours a day just dusting stuff and still not get it all clean. And I work and she works and that's basically the word of, of the day is work. So that's eight hours a piece for us and you got a 24 hour day. So we're not youngsters. So there we are. That's what we have going on. So I'm working on that box today and I'll show you a little bit about what I'm doing. Alright, so this is going to be the base, the bottom of the box. And, uh, I'm going to attach stiffeners. <laughs> oh, now, of course, I can't talk because I got a hack. But anyway, this is going to be face up. But, this is really rough. And, uh, they really don't look that big either. But it's bigger than it looks. What we can do, we'll take a piece of the little Noyum scrap that I have, and we'll put it on the bottom. I thought I had more, but that's all I can find. But anyway, I want the, the wheel is this tall right here, which if, it, if I could just hold it, worse than a live animal. Anyway, that's going to be the wheel. So, I don't want to attach this piece of wood to the bottom of the box and that to the bottom of this because then I'll lose all my height in my box. And I'm pretty well limited anyway. So, what I'll do is I'll mount that here to the inside, sandwich the linoleum between that and the inside, then I'll run a one by down this one. Well, no, I'll run two bys on the sides. Because <laughs> I'm basically building a crate. I don't build mansions, I build crates. So, that's what I'm basically doing. And, um, I'll, I'll bring you back when I get a little bit further along in the project. Okay, well, my day's coming to an end, but I got the bottom, the base of the box built. And if I really wanted to do this the way it should have been done, <clears throat> I would have built it to where this two and a half inches, because this is two and a half inches right here. From my finger to the bottom to right here, it's two and a half inches. And what I should have done is set the box so that I'd have more height inside my box. I didn't do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to live with what I got because... If I make it too complicated, all I do is get frustrated and it never gets done. That's 
the problem with some of these projects is I try to get them done and they just get, I make them more and more complicated. So now I gotta get a height measurement for the total height that I need, that I need, that I can have from the, underneath the bed. So let me go get that and I'll be back. Okay, well, the sun is sitting in the old open air workshop and, uh, I had to make some adjustments. I was putting my box together, speeding right along, getting everything right along. And I made the most common mistake I always make. I had my total width. But I forgot the width of my sides. So therefore, my total width is an inch and a half too much. So I had to put the sides inside the box as opposed to outside the box. And I ain't got the ends on. But the ends, I've got enough space lengthwise to put the ends on the outside. So, I'll put a block here. Put a block over here. I'm going to put a block right here for a splice. And then um, I'll put an end across and an end there too. Um, what I got is my material, which I've got enough material to actually do the ends the way I want to. So, uh, yeah. And uh, I bought me a Sawzall today for 20 bucks. It's a DeWalt. So I'm back in the Sawzall business. Um, but like I said, the, end, the day is closing. I'm going to try to get these ends cut. If I do, I'll make that clip. Well, the sun is sitting behind me. My, under the, the under the, uh, bed box is well on its way to being done. It's not done. But, the missus came out at just the right time to save me from cussing a blue streak because I mismeasured. Because I forgot the width of the sides. Yeah. So. It's always good to have somebody on your side. Yeah, always good. This is the greatest woman I've ever had in my life. You know, I've always had this issue with anger management. And I've always had an issue with measuring stuff and remembering stuff and, you know, putting stuff in the right order. And she, she don't, uh, she don't find it hilarious when I get mad. She actually doesn't like to see me get mad. So, she helped me out. And all she did was come out here and see what I was doing. And said, um, and I don't fit, remember exactly how she worded it. But I was like, mm, let me go check my measurement. So, I measured it. After she made that comment, I had, I could work with 37 and a half maximum. And my box was going to be 37. No, I had 37. And my box is going to be 37 and a half. Yeah. So she saved me. My box is going to be all right. Just not going to look as it's not going to look as good as I wanted it to. But who's going to see it? It's going to be under my bed. So ain't nobody needs to critique it, right? Peace, guys. Okay, so I probably could have waited till tomorrow to make the video, but I don't want to forget it because I just did forget it. But this is one of the, one of the cabinets that we got that we're not going to turn into a raised bed. This is one of the cabinets I actually wanted to get because we could use it in our bedroom. And that there is a bonus. That, that, that piece there. But... So is that shelf. Yeah, the slide out shelf. So, got that little slide out shelf and four drawers in this hutch. And then this other one that we want to save, this is a really old filing cabinet. We got three drawers, yeah, three drawers, and then one drawer is divided in half. And they're solid. There's no 
open space and like slots like that. There's a rod in them. These are really old. They had used a kind of folder that takes the rod and holds the folders. And now we have uh, hanging file folders. So they're a little bit different than that. But what we'll do, I think we could probably make this work without the rod. I think we could probably still make it work with folders. And we're going to save this one. And we're going to save this one. And I wanted to make that video a clip before I forgot it. So now I can turn off the bug light. So, here I am on day two of the bed box build. With other projects piling up that need to be done. But uh, today, this is what I'm working on. Uh, this is going to work out pretty nice actually. Um, not exactly the way I want to, but eh, still going to work out pretty nice. I, uh, um, I'll show you a little bit in just a second what it looks like, uh, because I got a, one, one end to put on it, and a top to build, and I'll show it to you in just a second. Alright, well, the box is done. I uh, need hinges, of course. Uh, it's not perfectly square. It's not nearly as big as I wanted it to be. But it's done. So now I move on to other projects. Uh, we got a bunch of filing cabinets we're stripping the drawers I love and moving around. So that's what we'll be doing in the garden. So thanks for watching. <laughs>